Yo, what is good you guys? This is Moral from the Project Lamb Life and today we have a review on what I consider to be one of the best Air Jordan 1s to release this year and that is the Air Jordan 1 High Pollen. Yo, welcome back to the channel everybody. I know that this review is a little bit delayed considering how many vlogs, how many reviews have already been up over at YouTube, but that just sums up Philippines delivery rate for you. But hey, as long as my sneakers gets delivered to me, they aren't stolen, they aren't switched, that's okay. Again, as I said, the Air Jordan 1 High Pollen is a sneaker that I consider to be one of the best Air Jordan 1s to release the entire year. I know that we've been getting a lot of Air Jordan 1s and some of those sneakers are either a hit or a miss, but with this, it's a big hit. If this is your first time here, if this is the first time that you're ever watching any of my videos, basically I do sneakers, fashion, and even some travel content. And so if you do love those, I appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. Again, we are so close to hitting that 1,000 subscriber mark. And so I do appreciate it if you can help me out. And also, just give this video a thumbs up if you do like sneakers, especially the Air Jordan 1 High Pollen. So as from the intro of this video, the box that it came with is very special and this is actually one of the reasons why I consider this to be one of the best Air Jordan 1s to release the entire year. As you can see, you do still have the normal, typical Air Jordan 1 box style silhouette. However, you can see a change in color from the usual reds which covers up the Nike as well as the other text that runs along the entire box and changes it to the color pollen or I would like to say a darker shade of yellow. And so looking at it, I could have sworn that maybe they could have only done it from the top and maybe even through the sides. But if you take a look over at the very bottom, the shoe box, even the small text of the Nike branding and all that is still in yellow. So that's just amazing. Switching our eyes over to the label of the shoe box, as you can see, it is in a size 13, which is my shoe to size. Shout out to Park Access for blessing me with another dub. I've been getting a lot of dubs from them and I appreciate that. I've been lucky, I've been blessed to win all these pairs. And so as you can see, the model of the shoe is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And the official colorway of this sneaker is Pollen White Black. So that's about it for the shoe box. I know that it is special, but the main attraction doesn't lie within the shoe box. It does come from the sneakers itself. And so three, two, one, this is the Nike Air Jordan 1 High Pollen. Right, goodbye Dunks. You're getting replaced with some Jordans today. Putting the box right over there, shoe. The Nike Air Jordan 1 High Pollen released over here in the Philippines on August 24th with a retail price of 9,995 pesos. Wait, 9,000? Doesn't Air Jordan 1s usually cost 8,095 usually? Yo, Nike Park PH, you thought we didn't notice, but we did. I know that the inflation of the prices from Air Jordan 1 started to increase from the Electro Oranges, correct me if I'm wrong, but man, that's just another 1,000 peso increase from 8,000. I wouldn't think it would affect sales since this still sold out, but man, that other 20 bucks, AKA 1,000 pesos is a bit of a bump if you ask me. However, over at the US, I still believe that this still retails at 170 bucks, so why change it here? Though this sneaker is called to be the pollen colorway, a lot of people are calling it by their names. A lot of people are calling this the Wu-Tang colorway, the Steelers colorway, or even the Iowa colorway, which I can't agree to since the color scheme, the pattern seems to be similar to those sneakers. But looking at it closely, especially the shade of yellow that was used, I think that pollen is the best way to call this because it is different. But getting down to the sneakers itself, first as you can see the base of the upper of this entire sneaker is in this black tumbled leather. What I can say is that the quality of leather used for the black is very good quality. It's not the same with the recent Jordan 1s that we've been getting which happens to be for me 
a little bit less quality. This seems to be a little bit more plush, a little bit more buttery. Now the overlays that overlap this black leather is this pollen smooth leather, which also happens to be very smooth and soft to the touch. So props to Nike for giving us a better quality Air Jordan 1. As you can see, the primary colorway of the upper of this sneaker is just mainly in the color pollen or black. And if you ask me, the color pollen for this sneaker resembles very closely to mustard. You can see the black base of the leather over at the toe box as you can see and you do have those perforations as well which is very custom to Air Jordan 1 highs. And also over at the mud guard you can see that overlay of yellow leather. And moving up you do see more of that yellow overlay with the smooth leather in the pollen. And weaving through them pre-lace you do have this pollen flat shoelace. Now if you don't happen to like the pollen shoelaces, Nike does bless us with two additional shoelaces. So. We have the black flat shoelaces as well as the white. And personally, I would think that yellow and black would go well just because it matches with the upper. Not sure with the white, um, I'm still iffy about that, but I have been seeing a lot of people switching up with white and they look fine, but not as good as compared to just the black or the yellow. Now underneath the shoelaces, you do have this black nylon tongue and right over at the top of that, you do have this pollen tag. Now what's different about this sneaker compared to some of the Jordans that I've been seeing is that there are actually more than two colors for the Nike tag. So if you look closely, the Nike Air text is in color white while the base is in pollen, but the Nike swoosh is actually in black. And I think this is the first time that I've seen this in an Air Jordan 1 that I got on hand. So this is this is something else. And taking a look over at the lateral side of the sneaker, you do see more of that base black tumbled leather. And over here, overlapping that, you do have the yellow swoosh. And going above that, near the ankle area, you do see again that overlay of pollen leather, the smooth buttery leather. And then over here, you do have the Nike Air Jordan wings embossed in black. And taking a look over at the middle side of the sneaker, it is the same with the lateral side minus the Air Jordan wings logo. Taking a look over at the back of the sneaker, you do have more of that pollen overlay which is more dominant over here at the back but you still happen to get that nice black and yellow color blocking which happens to be right over here at the top of the heel as well as a little bit over here nearing the ankle area. Moving to the inside of the sneaker, the sock liner is in this black mesh and taking a look over at the insole, it is also in black. However, you can see a difference in color for the Nike Air branding which is in this pollen color. Now moving down on the sneaker, you are greeted with this crisp white midsole which in cases a small air unit and then finally to round things up you are greeted with a pollen outsole with the natural tread pattern of the Air Jordan 1. Now what I really loved about this sneaker is that Nike actually made the effort to make sure that the colors of the outsole, the laces, and even the overlays of the upper is in the same shade. I know that this is hard considering that these are all in different materials and I could have sworn that I've mentioned it over at my last review of the University Blues that the outsole is actually different in shade. So, so as you can see, this is the University Blue ones and just taking a look over at the outsole and comparing it to the upper, it is in different shade. However, for the pollens, as you can see, it does resemble very similar to the exact same shade. So big props to Nike for that one. Now, overall, the Nike Air Jordan 1 High Pollen is a sneaker that I consider to be one of the best to release over the year. Despite its price increase over here in the Philippines, it's still sold out and a lot of people are really liking the color, especially that Jordan brand hasn't released any yellow themed Nike Air Jordan 1s for quite some time already. So I think that's the reason why a lot of people are liking this and just basically the color blocking of it all. It's not too much, but you still do get that pop of yellow. And I think personally that this would look good with some brown color cargos, even some shorts, uh, I think black as well, but I don't think it would look good with some plain wash denims. I might have to get back to you on that one, but my go-to outfit for this would definitely be some brown cargos. Now as for sizing, I did fit one of this just to see if the sizing change. However, Air Jordan 1 sizing does seem to be pretty consistent, so I would definitely stick true to size. But with that sums it up, this has been my review on the Nike Air Jordan 1 High Pollen. And now I want to know what you guys think about this color. Personally, do you love this? Would you cop one? Were you able to cop one for resale as well? Do you plan on getting one for resale since I think prices are still at the low right now? How do you rate this on all of the Nike Air Jordan 1s that release over in the year? 
let me know all about it down below and thank you again for watching you guys again if you are new to the channel please do subscribe we are so close to hitting that 1k mark so i would really appreciate it if you could help me out and as well as give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the review and with that concludes this video i hope to see you all in the next one and just a little bit of a teaser i did manage to pick up more pairs of sneakers some unreleased sneakers over at the us and i can't wait to show it to you guys so make sure to stay tuned click that notification bell so that you are 100 updated on all my videos also please do give me a follow over at instagram i do sometimes post pictures of the sneakers that i got before i make videos of them so if you want a clue on what they are make sure to give me a follow and with that that's about it i hope that you guys enjoyed once again this has been moral from the project lime life reminding you guys to always keep safe out there and God bless.